What's up YouTube? We're going to be looking at an Altoids 10 first aid kit today. Okay, starting out here, I've just got a rubber band. And then I have another large uh, rubber band. And that is used to not only seal the container, which is packed full, but this can be used as a tourniquet. And that can fit on an arm or a leg. So that is dual purpose. So if you get a really bad injury and there is no uh, setting the bone or stopping the blood and you have no other option, you at least have a tourniquet to uh, you know, stop the blood flow for at least the time being. But that could be enough to save your life in a case of serious blood loss. So we got that there. I guess we can try to leave this out here. Open her up. Alcohol prep pads. I think we have about a half dozen of those. Those can just be used for general uh, hygiene or to, to prep a wound. We have some ibuprofen. Uh, let's see, this is Histanol Forte, multi symptom cold tablets. And then we just have some regular old uh, Pain Aid aspirin. We do have a cough drop for a sore throat. And one thing we're going to be looking at in this kit is the ability to treat various symptoms. Now, you could have 50 band-aids in there and some antibiotic ointment. That's going to basically treat, you know, one or two symptoms or conditions, which are cuts or scrapes. So what I'm trying to do is have as many different things in this little kit as possible that will treat you know, whatever condi common conditions that you might face for minor, um, you know, medical situations. And we do have a number of bandages, fingertip bandage. And we have some small square bandages, four of those. Fabric knuckle bandage. And those are going to be common injuries when you're out in the in the field is, you know, fingertips, knuckles, things like that. They're going to get nicked up. Burn gel. If you're working with fire, something happens, you get burnt. You know, it's, you're going to be in a lot of pain for a long time without any way to treat that. This is a uh, antibiotic ointment. Muscle gel, pain relieving gel. So if you have a back pain or anything like that, you can rub that on there. A regular uh, latex-free elastic band-aid. So one-time use eye drops. Another small band-aid. First aid cream with aloe, so that could be used for sunburn. Then we have hydrocortisone anti itch cream for, let's say, poison ivy, poison oak. A couple of those. Just gonna lay it all out here. Four q tips. Clean your ears or apply the ointment with those. Just some uh, cotton swabs, cotton pads. A little uh, Pepto Bismol tab for uh, antacid and things like that. And then the last item is a needle. Or I should say it's a pin. I chose a pin rather than a needle because I don't really intend on stitching anything up. So 
with a pin it has a head that I can actually hold a lot better a lot more easily than a needle and this would pretty much only be used for uh, fishing out a, a splinter or something like that you know possibly puncturing a uh, blister or something like that if I had to but you could do a couple things with that one um, but you kinda get the general idea here I mean we've got everything from you know cold, sinus, headache, muscle pain, burns, sore throat, cuts, scrapes, um, you know itching, uh, red eyes, uh, splinters, um, you know, upset stomach. So we, we've got at least 10 different conditions that we could treat with this. And this is really not meant to be a, a comprehensive first aid kit. Obviously it's in an Altoids tin, but it's meant to be something that when you're out in the field, something comes up, you'll hopefully more than likely have at least one item in there that could make things a little bit better for you. So that's the general idea with this. Um, I don't think much else can fit in this little Altoids tin, so that's probably pretty much all I'm going to put in there for now. And that's going to be pretty much it for this video. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Take care.